Hey guys, it's Nick. And this portion of the video is talking about the fact that the NHL has suspended operations. The part of the review from last night's Hawks win um, was filmed last night before all the um, announcement that the NHL has suspended operations due to the um, virus that's going around. Uh, but it shows that the NHL is doing the right thing, sp suspending operations. The Hawks played s game 70 last night. It's an 82 game season. It might as well suspend operations. Not full word on how long the suspension of operations will be because it sounds like the NHL is going to try and get back to playing hockey um, here soon. But who knows when that will be. This suspension of operations means the league is done for some time. Players were sent home. They are not allowed to practice. They um, can't do team function type stuff. The league is suspended. So we'll f find out more over time. But the NHL has suspended operations. And uh, last night could have been the last Hawks game of the season. But from what I said in the review, but it sounds like the NHL wants to get back to playing hockey sooner than later, but it could be the next few weeks. The league is suspending all operations from play, and uh, we will see from there. All right, uh, I hope you enjoy the review, and leave a comment down below what your thoughts are about the suspension of operations of the NHL and um, this is something new to see happening in the NHL so thank you for watching the broadcast please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and most of all let's go Hawks Hawks win, Hawks win, 6-2 to two over the San Jose Sharks. In game 70 of the regular season, the Hawks come in and have Chelsea Dagger going off six times tonight. And it might be potentially the last game of the season. Yeah, it, it, I think we might be in the potential of seeing a suspension of operations in the NHL. At the time of me filming it, it has not happened. But with how the NBA sp suspended their um, operations during today, um, it wouldn't surprise me if the, if the NHL follows suit. Yes, the Chicago Blackhawks beat the San Jose Sharks, though, 6-2. to two. But with this lingering over, it's great to see the Chelsea Dagger get played six times. We just need something good feeling. And hearing the Chelsea Dagger go off six times in a big win is nice to see. So the Chicago Blackhawks come into tonight's game getting their um getting their win over the san jose sharks they now have 32 wins on the season for the chicago blackhawks san jose they're all already they already called it a season that's it for them but not like what i mean by calling it a season their season hasn't been good for them injuries players weren't playing to their potential and the sharks have sucked all season so the Hawks beat the Sharks 6-2. Let's get to the um, total shots on net. 36-45 to 45 in favor for the Chicago Blackhawks. Face-off percentage, 46.8% for the Sharks. 53.2% for the Chicago Blackhawks. On the power play, it was 1-3 for three for the Sharks. 2-3 for three for the Chicago Blackhawks. Yes, the Hawks get two power play goals. On the best PK in the NHL. When the Hawks have probably the worst power play in the NHL. 
That's surprising to see the Hawks get some goals on the power play. So shots per period, 15 to 14 in favor for the Sharks in the first period, 10 to 17 in favor for the Hawks in the second period, 11 to 14 in favor for the Hawks in the third period. So it was 36 to 45 in favor for the Hawks. The Hawks outplayed the Sharks. They were the better team. And it clearly showed by the skating, the jump in the step the Hawks had, and we had a good game. So let's get into the goals of the game. Why not? At 10:49 in the first period, Evander Kane scores his 26th of the season on the power play, assisted by Joel Thornton and Timo Meyer to get the Sharks a one-nothing lead. We go t where the Sharks now have a lead after one and the Hawks don't get a goal until we go to the second period. Where the second period, the Hawks started finding their game, getting it adjusted, getting the goals past Aaron Dell of the Sharks. So we go to the, um, we go to the second period. At 433 in the second period. Scored by number two, Duncan Keith. His third of the season. Assisted by number 19, Jonathan Taze. And number 12, Alex Debrinkit. To give the Hawks a tie game after a power play goal from Keith. Uh, Kirby Doc, gotta give them props here. They put Kirby on the power play. He skates up front of Aaron Dell and screams Dell. He could not see where the heck the puck was and Keith snipes it. I thought Kirby may have tipped it in, but nope, it was just right in to the net from a blast from Duncan Keith. Hawks tie the game up 1 1. Hawks are not done scoring yet because at 16 30 tree in the second period scored by number 88 Patrick Kane his 32nd of the season first of the night assisted by number 12 Alex Debrinkit and number two Duncan Keith to make it a two to one Hawks lead on the power play goal, which, nice goal here, because, um, Cat feeds the puck right across the crease, and Kane has an empty net, gets in, getting it past Aaron Dell. Player who drew the penalty made his NHL debut, Brandon Hagel. Hagel played well for his NHL debut, he didn't get on the scoreboard, but he he played a great game for his debut. Same with other player on the blue line that made his debut, Nick Bedeen. And he played really good. He came close to getting his career first goal. He got out and hit the post, but Bedeen, good job. Same with uh, Hagel. Um, so the Hawks now have a 2-1 lead. Hawks are not done scoring yet in the second period because at 17.58 in the um, second period, scored by number 20, Brandon Saad. His 21st of the season, assisted by number 12, Alex Debrinkit. And number 19, Jonathan Tees. This goal by the Saad father, he gets her, goes right up front of the net, Deeks Arendelle out of his pads, goes five hole, and the Hawks now have a three to one lead at the end of two. So we go to the third period with a three one lead. Goal scoring's not done yet because at one thirty one in the third period, scored by number ninety two, Alex Nylander. His tenth of the season, assisted by number 17, Dylan 
Strom. This goal by Nylander was a blast. It was a beauty. I was surprised how it went in. He he actually sniped the puck, and Hawks now have a 4-1 lead early in the third period. But a weird goal goes in from the San Jose Sharks at 6:39 in the third period. Timo Meyer off the faceoff scores his 22nd goal of the season. This puck was just bouncing in the dot, and Timo gets the puck and he snipes it past Corey Crawford. It stunned the crowd. It stunned me. It stunned everyone who was watching the game. And it's now a two goal difference. It's a 4 2 lead for the Hawks now. But the Hawks aren't worried about that yet because they have a couple more goals they have to put up. Because at 16 19, remaining in regulation time, scored by number 88, Patrick Kane. His turdy turd of the season and second of the night, Sco assisted by number 68, Slater Cuckoo. In number 92, Alex Nylander. This goal by Kane was a one that's not normal type of goal from him. He goes into the front of the net and kind of just pushes the puck into the net. And the Hawks have a 5-2 lead. Goal scoring is not over yet because we get a beauty from the rookie at 18-03. Remaining in regulation time. Scored by number 8. Dominic Kubalik. His 30th of the season. Assisted by number 77. Kirby Doc. This goal was all by um, Kirby. Kirby backhand passes. With no look pass behind him. To Koob, and Koob just snipes it top shelf past Aaron Dell, giving the Hawks the 6-2 win over the San Jose Sharks. This goal was a beauty. It's Koob's um, 30th of the season, Koobalik for Calder. <laughs> so the Hawks gets the 6-2 win over the San Jose Sharks. Hopefully this isn't a potential of the last game of the season but who knows it's up in air as of time I'm filming this video I will um I'm not posting this video the night after they won the night of them winning because in the morning when more announcements come out I will add on to this review about um what's going on in the NHL if this was potentially a last game of the season if not a sh we could see still a suspension of play between in the NHL hopefully we don't see that but for the safety of players I would understand but thank you for watching on the broadcast please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and most of all let's go Hawks